auditor says ECOT lied again that the online charter school faked its enrollment numbers for the last school year. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Mark Taylor. And I'm Ellie Merritt. That is just one of a number of new details we are learning tonight. NBC4's Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey has been following this investigation and he shares what was revealed today. Jason. Auditor Dave Yost, according to him, he tells us that unlike previously, ECOT officials refused to sign a standard document that stated they did not knowingly commit fraudulent activities. Thursday's report comes after a unique and critical year, according to Auditor Dave Yost. For the first time, we have documentation that during the 2016-17 school year, ECOT knew precisely how much time students were spending on schoolwork. That's thanks in large part to software I told you about a couple weeks ago called ActiveTrack. ActiveTrack is the smoking gun. For the first time, we can approve that ECOT submitted information to ODE in order to get paid that it knew to be false when it was submitted. Submitting false information in order to get money to which one is not entitled is fraud. Yost says he referred this matter to the U.S. Attorney, the FBI, the Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Education, and Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien. And while the state attempts to recoup some of the millions of dollars it's owed for overpayments to the school, it is the students who did not graduate that lost the most. ECOT owed them an education, and now it can never give it to them. You can't make that up. Oh, David Yost says that the Department of Education and state lawmakers are to blame for all of this. He says that ODE should never have accepted ECOT's report of student numbers for lack of detail. And state lawmakers should not have allowed loopholes that ECOT exploited to deceive the state to exist. We are live and local at the State House. Jason Aubrey, NBC4. Tonight